Needless to say, this room was extremely good. We kept telling each other jokes for hours. Wow. Eventually, I had to leave. Papyrus gets kind of cranky without his bedtime story. But she told me to come by again, and so I did. Then I did again and again. It's a thing now. Telling bad jokes through the door, it rules. Right on. One day, though, I noticed she wasn't laughing very much. I asked her what was up. Then she told me something strange. If a human ever comes through this door, could you please, please promise something? Watch over them and protect them, will you not? Now, I hate making promises. And this woman, I don't even know her name, but someone who sincerely likes bad jokes has an integrity you can't say no to. Yep. Do you get what I'm saying? Not really. That promise I made to her. Okay. You know what would have happened if she hadn't said anything? What? Buddy. You'd be dead where you stand. Oh, shit, man. Yeah, he's fucked in crazy. Needless to say, this woman was extremely good. We kept telling each other jokes for hours. Eventually, I had to leave. Papyrus kind of gets kind of cranky without his bedtime story. But she told me to come by again, and so I did. And I did again, and again. It's a thing now. Telling bad jokes through the door. It rules. <laughs> One day, though, I noticed she wasn't laughing very much. I asked her what was up. And then she told me something strange. If a human ever comes through this door, could you please, please promise me something? Watch over them and protect them, will you not? Now, I hate making promises. And this woman, I don't even know her name. But, someone who sincerely likes bad jokes has an integrity you just can't say no to. You get what I'm saying? That promise I made to her. You know, what would have happened if she hadn't said anything? Buddy. I don't like you without your comic sans. I know, it's scary. <sighs> hey, lighten up, bucko. I'm just joking with you. Needless to say, this woman was extremely good. We kept telling each other jokes for hours. Eventually, I had to leave. Papyrus gets kind of cranky without his bedtime story. Sans, tell me my story. But she told me to come by again, so I did. Then I did again, and again. It's a thing now. Telling bad jokes through the door. It's, it rules. But... Oh God, if I had killed her, what would he have done? One day, though, I noticed she wasn't laughing very much. I asked her what was up. Then she told me something strange. If a human ever comes through this door, could you please, please promise me something? Watch over them and protect them, will you not? I came through the door. Now, I hate making promises. And this woman, I don't even know her name, but someone who sincerely likes bad jokes has an in integrity you can't say no to. So, do you know what I'm saying? Is that why you came up to me and gave me like the whoopee cushion thing? Instead of killing me? Because you- he was supposed to be a sentry on the lookout for humans. So if a human came through, he was supposed to kill them. I came through, I'm a human. That promise I made to her. You know what would have happened if she hadn't said anything? Buddy. What? Oh, he's no ice. You'd be dead where you stand. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's creepy. Fucking hell! See, this is what people were saying, that Sans is like, there's a lot more to him than like, just the dumb telling jokes little fat dude. Well, he's not fat, he's big boned. <laughs> um, jeez, that's scary. Oh, jeez, Sans. Hey, let me tell you a story. So I'm a sentry in Snowden Forest, right? I stay out there and watch for humans. It's kind of boring. Fortunately, deep in the forest, there's this huge locked door. I remember that door. Yeah. Remember yeah, that yeah, door? Yeah. Yeah, it's perfect for passing knock knock jokes. So one day, I'm knocking them out, like usual. I knock on the door and say, 
knock, knock. And suddenly, from the other side, I hear a woman's voice. Who is there? So, naturally, I respond. Dishes? Dishes who? Dishes a very bad joke. Then she just howls with laughter, like it's the best joke she's heard in a hundred years. So I keep them coming, and she keeps laughing. She's the best audience I ever had. Then, after a dozen of them, she knocks and says, Knock, knock. I say, who's there? Old lady. Old lady who? Oh, I did not know you could yodel. Well, needless to say, this woman was extremely good. We kept telling each other jokes for hours. Eventually, I had to leave. Papyrus gets kind of cranky without his bedtime story. But she told me to come by again, and so I did. Then I did again, and again. It's a thing now. Telling bad jokes through the door. It rules. Oh, Sans. One day, though, I noticed she wasn't laughing very much. I asked her what was up. Then she told me something strange. If a human ever comes through this door, could you please, please promise something? Watch over them and protect them, will you not? Now, I hate making promises, and this woman, I don't even know her name, but someone who sincerely likes bad jokes has an integrity you can't say no to. That's true. That's true. That's, That's very true. Here. Do you get what I'm saying? That promise I made to her, you know what would have happened if she hadn't said anything? Buddy? You'd be dead where you stand. Hmm. Hey, line up, bucko. Needless to say, this woman was extremely good. <laughs> we kept telling each other jokes for hours. Eventually, I had to leave. Papyrus got gets kind of cranky with his bed without his bedtime story, but she told me she would come again, and so I did. Then I did again and again, and the thing now, telling bad jokes through the door, it rules. One day, though, I noticed she wasn't laughing very much. I asked her what was up. Then she told me something strange. If a woman ever comes through this door. Could you please, please promise me something? Watch over them and protect them, will you not? Now, I hate making promises. And this woman, I don't even know her name. But someone who sincerely like bad jokes has an integrity you can't say no to. Do you get what I'm saying? That promise I made to her, you know what I, you know what would have happened if she hadn't said anything. Buddy. You'd be dead where you stand. Hey, lighten up, bucko. Wow. Needless to say, this woman was extremely good. We kept telling each other jokes for hours. Eventually, I had to leave. Papyrus gets kind of cranky without his bedtime story. <laughs> but she told me to come by again, and so I did. Then I did again. And again, it's a thing now. Telling bad jokes through the door. It rules. One day, though, I noticed she wasn't laughing very much. I asked her what was up. Then she told me something strange. If a human ever comes through this door, could you please, please promise me something? Watch over them and protect them, will you not? Now, I hate making promises. And this woman, I don't even know her name, but... Someone who sincerely likes bad jokes has an integrity you can't say no to. Do you get what I'm saying? That promise I made to her. You know what would have happened if she hadn't said anything, buddy. You'd be dead where you stand. <laughs> Creepy. Wow. Needless to say, this woman was extremely good. We kept telling each other jokes for hours. This is so fucking stupid. Eventually, I had to leave. Papyrus gets kind of cranky about his bedtime story. But she told me to come by again, and so I did. And then I did again, and again, and it's a thing now. 
Telling bad jokes through the door. It rules. One day, though, I noticed that she wasn't laughing very much. I asked her what was up, and then she told me something strange. If a human ever comes through this door, could you please, please promise something? Watch over them and protect them, will you not? Now, I hate making promises. And this woman, I don't even know her name, but someone who sincerely likes bad jokes has an integrity you can't say no to. You're right about that, man. You can kind of... I kind of sympathize with what he's saying there, because like when someone actually does enjoy jokes and just loses their mind over all of them, regardless of if it's a guy or a girl, it's kind of charming, you know? I mean, who doesn't like making people laugh? That's why I'm doing YouTube. I, mean, I love making you dudes laugh, so I mean, hey, that's why if I asked you to do something for me, you would do it, right? <laughs> oh, no, I, have to say, I, I would do whatever the hell you guys ask, as long as it ain't Pokemon. <laughs> uh, I just took some shots. Let's keep moving. <laughs> um, do you get what I'm saying? That promise I made to her, you know what would have happened if she hadn't said anything. Buddy, so you would have tried to kill us? You'd be dead where you stand. Oh, shit. Sans. Sans, that was really fucking creepy. 